Police have charged a 16-year-old boy with graffiti after two controversial murals in Sydney's inner west were defaced with homophobic messages and crucifixes. It's not the first time the provocative artworks have been targeted since the results of the same-sex marriage survey were announced. It's become a war of words and a battle of brushstrokes. This Erskineville wall is at the centre of an increasingly tense debate. It's just awful that people have come across and, and, and put such awful slogans and, and graffiti over it. Before its new paint job, the mural depicted the late singer, singer George Michael as a saint. It was first defaced by vandals last week, upsetting local supporters. We managed to clean it one time after it was, you know, we noticed the paint was still wet and we rushed up and gave it a quick clean. Um, but, yeah, it's been hit a few times. They've since fought back with their own messages, but it's not the only artwork in the area to be targeted. This nearby mural by the same artist was painted after last week's yes vote in the same-sex marriage survey. Depicting former Prime Minister Tony Abbott and Cardinal George Pell, it was condemned by some religious groups as sacrilegious, offensive and inflammatory. Some locals weren't too pleased either. I thought it was a bit crass. It wasn't really celebratory of the vote, I didn't think. It was a bit pornographic. There's a lot of families around here with kids. I can see why people are going to get upset. Officers were called in yesterday when residents caught a group of young men who they say were spray-painting crucifixes and homophobic slurs. A 16-year-old boy was arrested. He's the second person this week to be charged with graffitiing the works. Street art and art in general is provocative. What we know is that there are avenues for people to take uh, genuine or raise genuine concerns if they find offence at a certain piece of art. A call for cool heads in a heated environment. Nadia Daly, ABC News, Sydney.